Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi delivered an ominous message on Saturday at the UN General Assembly. State international efforts to interfere with Taiwan will be crushed by the wheels of history. I should use that phrase at some point. Any scheme to interfere in China's internal affairs is bound to meet the strong opposition of all Chinese. And any move to obstruct China's reunification is bound to be crushed by the wheels of history, Wang said. The speech repeatedly emphasized China's claim to Taiwan, a self-governing island that separated from the mainland in 1949. We must combat Taiwan's independent separatist activities with the firmest resolve and take the most forceful steps to oppose external interference, Wang continued. The speech follows a trip by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other American lawmakers to, tai to Taipei this summer as part of a tour around the Indo-Pacific region. The visit provoked Chinese leadership, who argued that the group's time in Taipei violated the One China policy, under which the U.S. recognizes Beijing as the sole legal government of China. It gravely undermines peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and sends a, sh a seriously wrong signal to the separatist forces for Taiwan's independence at the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Pelosi's trip. Wang asserted in his address that China's sovereignty and territorial integrity has never been severed and that Taiwan has been a part of that territory since ancient times. The minister repeatedly expressed his government's commitment to reunification with Taiwan following its split from the mainland after the Chinese Civil War. So a statement like this is really interesting because in normal circumstances, when you don't have government officials who go around and break um, laws of the countries that they supposedly want to be on good terms with, when a region like this says, you know, anyone that comes around here, be warned, you'll be crushed by the wheels of history. We're going to make sure you don't interfere with our claim to Taiwan. We could say, okay, they're, they're just talking about people in general, but because this is coming, what, a couple of months after Pelosi and some other um, American lawmakers that had a couple of screws loose uh, decided to go over to a country that by visiting, they upset Chinese officials uh, with, it can be interpreted and very easily assumed that that's who they're talking about. That's why I said the U.S. is such a frustrating region because in the same breath that you'll have, like, for example, politicians who will get mad at, I'm just going to mention here, Trump for meeting with Kim Jong-un and, like, you know, going to North Korea and whatever uh, and saying, oh, you're legitimizing a dictator. They're the same ones who will, like, look at something like Pelosi going to, going to Taiwan, which directly affects U.S.-China relations because China feels undermined by this visit. And... They won't bat an eye. Oh, she's doing things that are in favor of democracy. No, she is very stupidly um, provoking a conflict between two countries that really don't need to be at each other's throat for for a photo op. Like, it's... That's why I said, whatever stuff China's willing to do, even if I don't agree with it, you can't say that they didn't warn people. It's like, sometimes you, these countries, mine's included... Just need to stay out of other countries' business. So I, I hope we don't see any more U.S. lawmakers or other lawmakers from other countries go to Taiwan. But knowing how uh, nosy a majority of the world government seemed to be, it'll only be a matter of time, and then things will get even worse.